So it's come to my attention that Billie Eilish um, has said some pretty um, questionable stuff, apparently, and you got fucking people fucking flipping the fuck out. I got my fucking two cents, and I'm not just saying this for attention or anything. I really do mean it. I mean, you can look on my channel. I really do mean it. Um, I saw at least two videos, and I'm probably going to get hate for this, and this video might blow up. Maybe. It's so funny because I thought the has been hotel video would blow up. And this one might blow up. I don't even care. I don't even care because I know none of, I know none of you care. But I'm hoping my next video will actually be about my heart scan results. That's what it, that's what it was originally supposed to be. But I have to make this video. I don't want to, but I have to make it. Because it's kind of annoying how, okay, you say you want gay pride and lesbian pride. I'm on board with that shit. But you draw the line when fucking Billie Eilish talks about masturbation? Like, fucking really? This is the fucking prude shit that, I'm, that we're fucking, that we're talking about here. I can't even fucking find this fucking shit. Israel or Palestine? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get into that. All y'all, mother, be really fucking prude. Like, all y'all. Like, you know what I mean? Like,. I ain't fucking a joke anymore. I mean, you say you want fucking, you say you want gay pride and stuff like that, but then you draw the line out. <laughs> Masturbation, y'all just fucking, you know, y'all. <laughs> Tone that down. I don't even know if I even need that loud. Yeah, <laughs> but y'all mother. Uh, get back here. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, mother. Be very fucking prude. Uh, I'm gonna get dislikes from this. I don't really give a fuck. My argument, see, because all the comments on these videos, uh, oh, Billie Eilish said something in, in an interview. All, all, all these fucking comments on, on these two fucking videos. You wanna know my fucking two cents? You wanna fucking know? Okay, here's the fucking logic, people. Okay, she says, like, oh, you know, she she touches herself in the mirror and she wants to eat, you know, cat, you know. I'm like, you know, no, not not actual cat, you know. She wants to eat pe the, 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 the puss puss, you know. She wants to get it on, right? And everyone's flipping out. Okay, my logic says... Y'all fucking realize that fucking singers sing about this shit in those songs, right? Now, I don't want to sound like a poser, but I'm not super familiar with Billie Eilish's music, lyrical content. But let's just say if it is super clean and super Christian-y and super, like, you know, fucking, like, it's basically what I'm trying to fucking get at is if, Let's just say, hypothetically, Billie Eilish's lyrics are not like Nicki Minaj or Blood on the Dance Floor. Oh, that's actually, no, that's actually a worse, that's actually a bad comparison. You know, something overly, you know, say, say if all lyrics are not overly sexual. Um, like Marilyn Manson or just, I don't know, like psychosexual, like that fucking band. I don't know, if you don't know who psycho, if you don't know who psychosexual is. Um, a member from Five Fink or Def Punch started a band called Psychosexual, and they sing about sex stuff. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is even if all, even if none of our fucking songs sing about that shit, right? Those fucking singers out there that do. So my fucking argument is, what the fuck is the difference between you singing about getting the puss puss and the and the Cock-a-doo-doo-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. But what's the difference between singing about it and fucking talking about it in a fucking interview? I see no fucking difference whatsoever other than when you're speaking, you're, it, there's no rhythm to it, and it's more casual, you know? There's 
very weird, crazy sex songs out there. We're not talking about the whole mission, you know, I'm not talking about, because there's tons of songs about, you know, I don't want to get too explicit, but there's tons of songs about doing it in the missionary position, you know, putting your, putting your, your hot dog in the taco, so to speak. You know, there's a lot of songs about that. But then there's very weird sex songs. You know, I can't really think of an example, but there's very weird ones out there. Um, I don't fucking see what the fucking freak out is. I mean, look at my videos. I talk about the most weird, weirdest fucking shit. Like, if you, like, a lot of my pro-sexuality videos, I talk about, like, the weirdest fucking shit. I have a fucking... I get turned on by certain sounds and smells. Y'all want to fucking talk about... I'm not trying to... I'm going to get canceled for this. I'm not trying to be offensive at all. I'm not trying to... But everyone nowadays want to talk about misophonia, the hatred of sound. What about, like, getting turned on by sound? Like, because that's me. I'm not talking about ASMR. Uh, people are sensitive to smells and stuff. Okay, what about getting turned on by smell? certain smells, or seeing something, or feeling something, like, y'all fucking realize that the schools fucking teach that, like, school sex ed teaches about, you know, normal sex, a man and a woman, you know, fucking Matt Walsh, you know, what is a woman, you know, a man and a woman get together, but now the schools are teaching the gay stuff, gay sex, and the schools are teaching, guess what? Da -na 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 -da -na. masturbation y'all fucking realize that y'all realize that they fucking teach that shit it's not again it's not just fucking man and a woman ben shapiro fucking my christian fucking values bullshit no in school i have a vague memory of this i don't really i don't really remember it too much but i do remember in school that there was a topic in sex ed about, like, masturbation, and they basically said that, like, it's normal, you know. Now, I don't remember the school talking about, like, explicit content. You know, I don't think my school was that advanced yet. They'd, they'd probably probably talk against it, probably back in the day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they talked about that. But they did. They definitely they talked about normal sex. They talked about masturbation. This is back in my day. Um, I don't know if they talked about gay couples back then in my day. I don't know if they talked about that. But they definitely talked about masturbation, about how it's just, it's normal, right? Now, as far as the whole mirror thing goes, again, again I don't want to get too explicit, but as far as the whole mirror thing, looking yourself in the mirror and doing it, that is a little weird, you know? I mean, that, I mean, every single explicit content creator... I believe is attracted to themselves at least a little bit. There's this thing called autosexual where you're attracted to yourself, but usually autosexuals are 100% attracted to themselves and they're not attracted to other people. Now, I'd say most people that are attracted to themselves are not that extreme. I'd assume autosexuality is very rare, but I. Most of these porn, basically in a nutshell, most of these porn stars are probably attracted to themselves at least a little bit. Maybe not t looking in the mirror, but, you know, whatever. Just a little bit. I myself, I am a little bit attracted to myself a little bit. Do I whack the weed, metaphorically speaking, to myself? Not really. Like, not really. On very rare occasions, I will look at a photo or video of myself or in the mirror. But usually, no. Usually, I think of other people. But I, I am a 29-year-old twink, apparently. I can't gain weight, you know. So, I still have the attractiveness. But basically, what I'm trying to get at before this video gets too long, because I don't want to add to the internet bill. Fun fact, the screen recording... These screen recordings take up less space... So it shouldn't really add to the internet bill. Again, I know, I know none of you care, but my next video is going to be very important and very serious. So please don't try to, like, fuck with me in my next video. Because my next video might be serious. It has to do with my health. I know some of you don't care, but you won't probably see that 
until like weeks from now. But basically, just to end this, I don't really see a fucking problem with fucking Billy Eilish talking about her sexual. I mean, like I said, we're gonna draw the line at masturbation and fetishes. Like really, like like this is like you all y'all wanted gay pride and stuff. Y'all wanted trans pride, y'all wanted bisexual pride, but we draw the line at masturbation pride. We draw the line at fetish pride. We're at this point now where foot fetish and BDSM is now accepted. Like back in my day, it was, all of that shit was like mocked and seen as weird. Now, I'm happy to say that foot fetish and BDSM is accepted. But we still have a lot of work to do. Like for instance, pet play. We dress up like an like a like a fur like an animal or whatever. Or you dress up like a furry. That's still mocked. That's still not accepted. Um, you know, this like you know, pee. You know, being into pee is still you know not accepted, and just some other weird shit is sadly not accepted but hopefully down the road as long as we can fucking remember that as long as it's good legal and safe then who the fuck really cares unless you're a christian conservative but hey if that's what you are that's what you are but that ain't fucking me you know i don't know well yeah it's my little rant on Billie Eilish. I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes by saying, How dare you? You're advocating for degeneracy and deviance. I guess another argument could fucking... Like, this is a really good argument that people could say against me. People are going to be like, I'm going to get a lot of dislikes, and people are going to be like, Dude, you know, like, Billie Eilish's fan base is, like, young people, right? And my fucking reply to that is... Dude, it's fucking Billie Eilish. We're not talking about the... Fu We're not talking about Lazy Town. We're not talking about fucking... The Wiggles. The, 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 what was that? The, the Wiggles fucking shit. Right? R wiggles. The Wiggles. Yeah, this isn't fucking... Come on, guys. I can't really think of, like... A P, I can't think of like a rated G music group or singer. I can't really think of anyone off the top of my head, but you know what I mean. This isn't like, like, she does creepy shit. Like, she's like the pop version of Marilyn Manson, okay? Like, y'all need to fucking realize that her fan base, if I had to guess, is, any, is probably, she probably has a lot of 18 year olds. She probably has a lot of 20 year olds that listen to her music. Yeah, she might have some, like, there might be some questionable fans, you know, you know, when it comes to, like, the age thing, but I'm willing to bet a lot of Billie Eilish listeners are, like, during college, you know, or, like, they're 18 or 20 or something. Like, you know, same thing with, you know, Sue Slut, you know, that, that drum and bass person like her fan base is probably and you probably don't know who that is but her fan base is probably like 18 20 you know this is this isn't these aren't teenagers these are like young adults well like they're like 18 they're probably like 18 or something you know so yeah she's like the pop version of Marilyn Manson or like Lady Gaga or whatever like I okay I'm just fucking rambling but Y'all are just so fucking, I don't know if sheltered is the right word I'm looking for. Y'all, <laughs> even, even the dude, that moral pingus guy, I, I commented on his video by saying, what a fucking prude society. And then as soon as I commented that, the video was still playing. And he's just like, maybe I'm old. Maybe I'm just a prude. Uh, newsflash, you kind of are. You got everyone in the comment section of, of the, those two videos. You guys are. You guys are flipping out by saying, oh, the argument is, she's oversharing. She's oversharing. Y'all fucking realize that everybody on social media be oversharing nowadays, for better or worse. There's different types of oversharing. It's funny because when I look up oversharing, I get trauma. That pops up, which is very odd because... Y'all realize that oversharing isn't just trauma dumping. Oversharing could be 
I missed the toilet this morning, so that's why I was late to my class. Um, oversharing could be like me when I was talking about my three favorite bands. I was supposed to talk. I made a video of talk that was supposed to be about my three favorite bands and then my closet. Well, I spent most of the fucking video talking about my three favorite bands, and I barely talked about my closet. So that's oversharing. So oversharing could be anything: sexual stuff, bathroom stuff, autistic hyperfixations of your three favorite bands that people probably don't even haven't even heard of, or they don't like it, or something. You know, oversharing. It's weird because oversharing is connected to trauma and ADHD. It could also be connected to autism, but I don't really see that much search results for that. That should be pretty obvious because people with autism have special obsessive interests and they never stop talking about stuff for 10 hours. You know, they'll like verbally, like, 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 like me, for instance, I'm like verbally, metaphorically, like gooning out, like, like metaphorically, like words out of like, you know. I'm gooning, like, ver like metaphorically and verbally, my interests and my thoughts on social media. Everybody fucking does that. Everybody on TikTok talks about the fucking problems. Everybody on YouTube talks about the fucking problems or their interests. Like, everywhere I go, it's like videos about autism, videos, videos about ADHD. Back in my day, autism and ADHD was, like, very hard of. And now, like, most of, like, like a lot of people on the internet have autism. Not everyone. Not most people, but a lot of people have autism and ADHD now. Is that oversharing? Who the hell is it? Maybe. Who cares? If she wants to fucking make a song about eating the puss puss, who the fuck cares? If she wants to make a song about being into BDSM, or if she has fucking... she wants, to, If she's a fucking furry or something, she wants to make a song about being a furry and dressing up like an animal and fucking dressing up like a cat, eating out... A woman's, um, cat, not literally, you know, metaphorically, the, the, the vag, the vaggy, vaggy from Hasbun Hotel, you get the metaphor? Who the fuck, basically, who the fuck fucking cares? Seriously, it's like Marilyn Manson, it's like, it's just, who the fuck fucking cares, you know?